Hello everybody, thank you so much for joining us today. I'm going to be joined by Mariela Boy from Musaraña. She's going to talk about her uh, the band's new venture, Monchi Sexual. Please guys, let me know if you can see me and hear me properly. So I'm going to be joined by Maria. She's right here right now. So let's connect right away. We are just waiting for Musaraña Music, Maria Lavoy from Musaraña Music. She's going to talk about the new single, which by the way, I love very, very much. So we are connecting. Yes! yes! We did it! <laughs> Finally! Finally! I, you know what I think it is? I think it's so, there's, I mean, in New, you're in New York right now, right? Yes. So I'm in New York right now. It's so hot in here so you know i know it, it was the heat wave that you know messed this up but we are here ready <laughs> ready ready so i just want to know first if everybody can see us properly if can hear us yes. by the way i love your outfit thank you was that very very nice <laughs> thank you so okay so the first first things first i love the new single but before we go there Déjame, i want I'm you to explain me what is the meaning behind musaraña? Because that I know that I've heard that word uh, many, many times before. But can you please, for those who, do, who doesn't have any idea, please let us know what musaraña means. Of course, musaraña is in Puerto Rico. Musaraña is a jargon for a wandering mind or like random thoughts. And I actually discovered, I thought this was, a uh, jargon commonly known uh, for the Spanish uh, speaking, like uh, Hispanic speaking community. And I discovered that it's not actually. Um, some uh, co like Spanish speaking uh, uh, cultures know it, but I think it's mainly like Puerto Rico, maybe the Caribbean. Yes. Um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I believe so. I think I've heard, because I'm Dominican, I, I think I've heard the, the word musaraña in, in DR, in Dominican Republic, and I'm pretty sure that it's also a Puerto Rican word. But the thing is that I had no idea what exactly it meant. Um, for me, it was more like a, like a little bit of, of a mess. So it was good to know that you are um, letting us know that it's more like a, a, a mind that is wandering, which is great. So, Maria, I want you to explain um, the, the break it down for us a little. Um, the meaning behind Monchi Sexual, the new single. So the new single is um, is the like a a good introduction for uh, the music that we are creating and offering to the world, and um, which is. Uh, we are uh, we came up with the idea of a new latinx music genre yes so, that's exactly what i want you to tell me that is poho like i'm so intrigued by it tell me more like how can i just poho myself in here too. <laughs> <laughs> um yes yeah, so mira uh, monchi sexual uh, is the first song we decided to debut with because um, it has uh, the three layers of what Musaraña is about and what Despojo is about, uh, which is, um, if you, I've worked in, uh, in the music industry for many years and in communications and with many creatives. And I'm also a bailadora, I'm like a, a, a dancer. And el, el ritmo lo llevas en la sangre. Yes. The so, rhythm is in your blood. Yes. And I, for many years, you know, I, uh, I look up and I love the music of our female uh, Latina artists from the 60s, from the 70s, from like Celia Cruz and La Lupe and even Iris Chacon. And um, I love uh, to dance to that kind of salsa. Mm -hmm. And somehow, when I dance that OG uh, sounds and salsa, and even like bomba and plena and all of this, I have experienced myself 
uh, having a little bit of an outer body experience where I let go and and you know that moment where you like sync with the music and something takes yes. over you and at the end of it you're like <gasps> like oh, what just happened so I've been missing that in okay. the music in the music scene and industry and and since I've like uh, I've had it also like a career as uh, as a performer performera I imitated Edith Chacon in the past for a few years so uh, I decided to go for it and create it and give a shape and and do this music that is not only a danceable like psychedelic rumba for the millennial era <laughs> the yes. millennials but something that provides us like like a lot of like percussion and like sounds that helps us disconnect from our sufferings of the daily lives. So it actually intends to do a little bit more than just be like music that you listen to and, and just like dance to like a salsita and that's it. Like, yes. like the intention is like you get, you close your eyes and you get into yes. it. Yes. Like let go and you don't look to the side and you don't mind if people are looking at you. You just like, like put it all out there. So that's this photo. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, you definitely fun. feel it. No, I'm saying like yeah, you no, definitely no. feel it. Like the first time I heard Montesexual, like I was all over the place. I was feeling the music. I loved it. I already have it in my favorites on my playlist. I will say that if goes number one, it's because of me because I spend the whole day, <laughs> the whole day just listening to Montesexual. Especially, you know what I love? The part that says, Azúcar, canela, azúcar, canela. I love, so I, that's stuck in my head. So yeah, I love it, love it very, very much. Yay, I'm happy, no, it, we've had a great, like people, it, it, people have been receiving it amazingly. So I'm really excited. So the idea is that Monchi Sexual came out actually of like a hangout with like my bestie, best friend, um, that I give to give a shout out to because we actually kind of jokingly wrote the song together um, or started the writings of the song together in like a hangout of like saying that like, oh, we need something to elevate our spirits. Yes. And just like, like mean something, but not really. And then um, Musaraña is co-created by an angel multi, multi-instrumentalist and producer Andres Rigao that I need to give a shout out to as well. He's in Puerto Rico, so we like go back and forth. Um, and he gave shape to the sounds of Monchi Sexual um, and to the idea of the despojo we've been giving a shape together. So it has a lot of precaution. Mm -hmm. But the, the interesting thing and the proposal of the despojo is that a lot of rhythms that we know, but they're layered. So it's, if, you, if you listen to a part of, this, of, the, of the song, it's not that like you can be like, oh, this is a merengue or oh, yes. bomba. It's like, I kind of feel it all in mm -hmm. one place, yes. you know? So you can dance it to like however your feet know to dance it. I say freestyle is the best way of dancing this bobo. Um, So yeah, so, so it's kind of like a party song. It's a, it's a song to elevate our spirits. And also I'm taking cue from, our, from my uh, African roots. And you know how like, our ancestors used to play drums and, yes. and to bomba and plena or to palo or to, you know, to play to the drums to let go of the sufferings and, and of the abuses of their a, a day full of labor. So I feel like we, our generation is, is uh, facing like huge social, political, humanitarian challenges mm -hmm. and we need like a way out and I feel I'm providing this as, 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 as to see as an experience yeah. a way yeah. out for the community to congregate and to let to let things go in for the millennial modern community yeah that's great the fact that you are doing music for us um millennials it's you know it speaks volumes um I really really enjoy it and I like I agree the fact that it, as soon as you uh press play on that song I mean, it's, in, it's inevitable. You need to dance, you f disconnect from whatever is um, out there. 
and you definitely want to grab some sage, some Palo Santo, and start doing a despojo. So speaking, <laughs> speaking of despojo and sage and, and Palo Santo, do you have like a, a un ritual that you can tell us and share with us? What, what is that go-to things that you do to despojar yourself? To despojar myself? Yes. So definitely uh, inside of the dance, I do something that, I mean, it's kind of like a technique, a meditation technique, which is to observe your body. Mm. So you do this thing where, where like it brings you present. So it gets you out of your mind. The idea of musaraña, the, the, um, the, we are called musaraña, but the idea of musaraña is to actually a way to let go of the musarañas, you know, okay. of the random thoughts, that kind of distract us and that take over us. And then as Pogo is that, it's a moment to not have musarañas in your mind. <laughs> Great, yeah, and makes so sense. What I do is like, I, I, I need to close my eyes when I'm dancing, let's say. So I, I actually, there's a song that, uh, that's gonna come out in the album that is called Despojo. And it's uh, inspired by Fela Kuti and on Fela Kuti's song on uh, open and close uh, Afrobeat. He tells us how to dance the Afrobeat. So I kind of, we try to tell the world how to dance this poho and this song is going to come out soon. And well, so the idea is I close my eyes, it's my ritual, and I, I, I try to alienate each uh, instrument in my mind. Okay. So I go, oh, that's the drum, that's the funky guitar, that is, that is the guido. That, and then when I'm there, something starts, you know, you get present to yourself. And then I'm like, I'm just going to like observe my body and observe my calera and I'm like, yes. Yes. And like, and then like when you commit to it, you forget about everybody else around you. And then, and then, you know, and then you just, and then you just dance freely. There's, it, it's, it, it's, it's like a, it's a fine line when you go over from dancing regularly yes to like correct like you notice it yes correct you pretty much disconnect your soul from your body um and enjoy every single as you said before every single layer of the song and you feel every rhythm you feel every note and i think you're not the only one doing that because that's exactly um to everybody who's um enjoying the the song because um, it was released on July 22nd, if, uh, that's correct, right? So yeah. um, when it was released, um, what was the reaction of, of people? Because I've, I've been reading some of the comments and everybody's saying, like, I love the music, it's amazing. But um, have you been, like, receiving a lot of messages and, and, and comments about it? Yes, we are, like, I cannot tell you, I'm, like, so we are so, like, excited and humbled by like how people have welcomed and received this song. We've like, we were like overflown with messages like of, of people loving it, people having it on repeat, people dancing to it already. What I'm really dying to do is uh, uh, like either a despojo performance or a despojo party. I mean, I know now with COVID, we'll see what we can manage, but yes. you know, like despojo is meant to be like a, a circle, community, kind of like dance, like how our ancestors used to do in the Palladium and like discover the steps to salsa, that kind of thing. Like my dream would be like, how, what would people discover inside the steps of Despojo? Like what would people, yes. like, what would community come up? <laughs> Great. Looking at you right now, um, the same way your music has so many layers, I can see when it comes to your style, there's also a lot of, layers it seems like you're very eclectic you're not afraid to play with colors you're not af uh, afraid to play with textures and makeup how would you describe um your sense of fashion your sense of style oh that's a great question <laughs> <laughs> so i am actually uh, to be really honest and vulnerable with you i have been like rediscovering or discovering who I am inside of Musaraña, and how does that look like in uh, in fashion, and even 
in, a, in image, let's say, or in art. Um, and I, I want to say, like, I have been doing this. I have been letting go, me he estado despojando of the preconceptions of fashion that I had. Mm -hmm. And like, just being playful. Like, I was telling, I was yesterday talking uh, with some friends actually about the same thing on like, on, I would love, like, this whole project is an invitation for the audience and for the world to kind of explore what is their alter ego. And like, I think all of us have like, a colorful us, yes. a, like playful us, and and I think we suppress it in our daily lives. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's so fulfilling and so freeing to explore it and to just like do it without like thinking about what people think about it. So, so I'm taking cue for a lot of you. You can my the character, let's say, okay, is a it's a mix of Celia Cruz, La Lupe, and Iris Chacon in one. Today, like, if, what would a modern, like, sonera for the millennials be? Exactly. Pero, so, yeah, so, you can see hombreras. You're going to see a lot of, like, hombreras and, like, brillo if we're, like, the everyday life. Like, I think, like, we should wear more sparkle and more, you know, like, joy is our right. And, Great. And it's also a form of rebellion and, and, and revolution to show who we are and to wear it proudly. Um, That's not, fantastic. Yeah, not to suppress it. So, so that, and I think ruffles should come back too. So. Yes. <laughs> That's so great. Big I mean, hair, we, big hair. we can't wait to um, enjoy more of your music. So can you please tell us what's next? Why can't we, um, cause I know, Artists are always working on something. So can you please tell us a little bit of what's next, what, what's next, what's coming? Yes, yes. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm for it to come out. So we have, um, we have three more singles we're going to put wow. out in the next month, I think. Okay. Um, one is called El Valle. And then uh, uh, that is... Uh, very fun song. I, I'm actually going to play a little bit for you in a little bit. And we have another one. It's called Ropa Sucia, which is, I say, the darkest sun in the album. <laughs> okay. It's about, like, really letting go of the bad energy. Um, okay. And Agua y Coco. It's a very fun wow. song. Like, very summery. Um, and then we have plans to release a full album somewhere Great. in... September, October. Um, Perfect. So yeah, a whole, a whole ten or eleven songs of, of of despojo. That's great. Uh, let me tell you, I'm not too pay. I don't have a lot of patience, so I want to hear that song right now. So can you please? <laughs> can you please? Yes. Let me see. Okay. So. so let Okay, so we are the first. We are the first ones, right? Somos los primeros en escuchar. You are. Okay, we are the first one, guys. Raise yourselves. And, and I played a tiny bit of it in another interview, but this is probably the second one or the full. I can give you more of it. <laughs> okay. Where do I have this? Um, oh my God! This is so exciting. Okay, guys. So we are just waiting for Maria to look for the, 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 the her next. Hit, cause Monchi Sexual is already a hit. If you haven't, if you si no lo has escuchado, if you haven't hit the, the the song, you need to as soon as this, as soon as we wrap up this live, you need to go to um Tidal or Spotify. Um, I guess uh you can find it on Amazon. So okay, I hear something. There, are you here? Let's see. Let let let's hear. Yes. Volume. Give us some volume. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, okay, I'm getting the, the I'm getting the, the chills right now. Oh 
my god. Yes. Okay. Like, no, I, I can't wait. Like, can you can you please release it tomorrow? Because like, today is only for Monchi Sexual, and then tomorrow is going to be for the other one, and, and then we can go from there. <laughs> that will be great. That will be great. No, but I'm very very yeah. I'm very excited. I'm very much looking forward to all your music. I know this is going to be something that is going to change. Um, you know, uh, the 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 way we party right now. So I really, really appreciate um, the fact that you are taking this time to, to share and break um, a little bit of what Musaraña is about. I know it, it, it's your, uh, the whole band is going to be a, a success. And congratulations. We are wishing you nothing but the best. You are great. I love your style. I love your music. And can you please let everybody know where exactly they can find um, your songs, where they can um, live stream it? Yes. Well, I, I actually want to tell you, thank you so much. I appreciate you, and I honor the person that you are. And I'm like, so excited to be here with you with Be Latina. I love you guys. And everyone that joined, thank you as well. Like, I appreciate your presence here. Um, and let that not go lightly. And you can check everything about Musaraña out in Musaraña. We made it like that, so, you know, Everybody in every language can actually, yes. have the ñe, they can actually, uh, they, they can pronounce it. And Find it right away. So it's Musarania music everywhere. Great. And the platforms where we can enjoy all your music, it's going to be, it's there in title, um, Spotify, Apple Music, where, um, where else we can find it? It's in, I, I think it's in all music platforms, Spotify, Great. Amazon. Music, iTunes, Apple, Deezer, uh, Tidal, uh, YouTube, uh, everywhere. Great. Okay. Well, yeah, thank TikTok. you. I'm, I'm, I'm soon going to do an Azuka Canela TikTok. Let's see. Okay, great. So we're going to, we are waiting for it. Like, it's late. <laughs> Thank you so much. Muchísimas gracias, Maria. You are amazing and inspiration. As I said, you are the next big thing in, in, in music, and we can't wait to, to hear um, mo, uh, so much more. Yay, thank you. Thank you, but can you, can you wrap this up with azúcar, canela, azúcar, how, how is it? Bien en despojo, okay? Okay. Now everybody do it with me wherever you are in your own seats, huh? Or in your homes, let's see. Azúcar, canela, azúcar, canela, azúcar, canela. You are the best. Thank you so much.